Oh, hello. Sorry, you just caught me looking at my parade loot. You've probably figured out it's Mardi Gras here in New Orleans, and around this time of year, everything gets pulled into the orbit of the holiday, even serious topics like addiction. So we're taking a break today. We're giving you a special movie we put together on Mardi Gras and addiction. Enjoy. Mardi Gras is a special time down here in New Orleans. Work and productivity get a little light. It might seem to an outside eye that Mardi Gras and addiction go hand in hand. That we would all get the disease after so many beers and slices of king cake and God knows what else floating around. But hopefully by now, you know that addiction is not caused by drugs, but is a brain disease involving midbrain dopamine tone. Most people will enjoy the excesses of Mardi Gras, and even though Wednesday morning may feel a little rough, they'll go on with their lives with no problem. But for someone with addiction, every day is like Mardi Gras. A Tuesday in July can harbor as much temptation and drive to use as Mardi Gras day, because the midbrain doesn't care what day it is. It just wants normal dopamine tone. If we look past the indulgence of Carnival, we can see what the road to recovery might look like. One lesson of Mardi Gras is the flattening of hierarchy. Sure, there are kings and queens and royal courts, but it's all make-believe. Addiction itself knows no hierarchy. You can find it in people of any age, group, or social status. Whether we're parading ourselves or watching from the street, the mask we wear on Mardi Gras makes us all anonymous. We're all big, no one's small just everyone at the same level, enjoying the day. It's easy to see this holiday as one of consumption, but the greatest free show on earth, as it's often called, actually comes at great effort by the parading crews who spend almost the entire year preparing for their day. In recovery from addiction, we often find that helping people is part of the solution. Because being a part of something greater than yourself, providing service, helping others, these are all things that raise midbrain dopamine tone. And while the Mardi Gras season can be weeks long, it all boils down to one day, that Tuesday just before the Catholic season of Lent. When we take to the streets on that last day, we are focused on the day itself, freed from the burden of tomorrow. The parades come and they go. We catch something or we don't. And wouldn't you know it, that's just what recovery looks like. And this is how we survive this chronic illness, by treating each day like it's special, like it's the only day we have, the only day we need. Happy Mardi Gras.